Hey everybody, welcome to episode 4 of Total War Warhammer with me, Redneck Einstein. We're playing as the Empire, and last episode was pretty successful. We've now united the the towns of Helmgart, Alhart, Grimberg, and the Rheindorf, all under my banner. Um, so we've been quite successful on that front. Now this episode, what I wanted to take a look at was uh, followers, and also obviously carry on with the campaign, but I wanted to take a look at followers first of all, because I don't quite understand how they work. So, I've got these followers. I've got an apprentice wizard, who gives me uh, a winds of magic power reserve plus 20. I've got the ranger standard banner, which by the looks of it gives me a strider? Is that a unit I can use? It says, speed and combat penalties caused by terrain are ignored by this unit. And I've also got another follower called a pit fighter who's got melee attack plus seven. But I don't quite understand. Are they physical characters or are they are, are they just a way of improving the ability of my army? It's something I don't quite understand. Um, before I go any further, are there any skills? No, there's no skills available to attribute. So, before we attack anywhere else, let's take a look at our little towns. And also, we need to let our army heal. You can see down the bottom here, we've got a number of injured troops. And Carl Franz nearly died in the last episode too, so we're going to have to let him uh, replenish all his health. It's going to take four turns to replenish his health. Now, I ca you can merge units together, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let them heal. Now... We've got some things we can do in our town. So, let's have a look. The town of Rheindorf ah, can actually be promoted to a town. So, what benefits does that give us? Looks like that's going to increase our income generated and our public order from plus two to plus three. We'll get an extra income and provides a bigger garrison. So, let's do that. That's going to cost 3,200 out of our 7,000 plus uh, gold. So, Helmgar also has some upgrades available. We can build a rally field, which I'm not going to worry about building a rally field just yet. I am going to build some defenses, because that'll help if any of these towns, which are slightly weak without my army being based there, it will help if they, uh, they're put under attack. Now, what about Alhart? Alhart, if we build a clothier, the clothier, clothier, that's going to increase our generated income to 375. And I believe that is all we can do. So let's leave our Emperor, Karl Franz, in Grunberg and end our turn. Aha! Yes, we've now, because we've united all of these four towns under the Empire banner, we can now issue a commandment. So let's take a look at those. So we do that from Rheindorf. And in there, we can choose to host Festag, Sigmarite. Sigmarite Dogma, so enemy hero action success chance minus 10%, reduction in vampiric and chaos corruption plus 1. I think we can see what effect they're having up there, but we're already reducing that for 3 more turns. What are the other options? Imperial Taxation, so we'll increase tax by 5%. Uh, Council of Burgermeisters, Burgermeisters, mm, burgers. That will increase our income from trade and give us plus 20 growth. Or we've got the state troop levy. So local recruitment capacity is plus one. At the moment we can only recruit two locally. So that would boost that to three. But I think seeing as we are experiencing some public order problems. Rheindorf's minus five. Eilhart, Eilhart's minus five. Helmgard's minus five. So yeah, what I think I'm going to do is issue the commandment to host a Festag. A party amongst my people and we'll end the turn on that front so that will boost hopefully all of our towns to Rival minus power one comes to parley demanding a change in your mutual ah, this land wants to consider their offer carefully offer me a trade okay so their demands they demand a peace treaty from me and they'll offer a peace treaty to me and they will offer me 900 gold all right, I accept. That sounds like a worthwhile trade. Thank you. Um, okay, now we'll just let the rest of them take their turns. Hey, this guy looks like he wants to attack Helmgard. All right, what's he bringing with him? He's got swordsmen, spearmen, three lots of spearsmen, one crossbowman, one swordsman, and the hero himself, Hans the Astute. All righty, and we have 
two swordsmen who are slightly below, well, just slightly just above health, uh, half health, sorry. Two spearmen with shields, and we got two crossbowmen. All right, we'll fight this battle. It looks like the balance of power is strongly in their favor, but I don't see it that way. I, I imagine um, if I can make proper use of my crossbowmen, then we can win this battle. Um, I don't see quite how the balance of power is that strongly in their favor, to be honest, but we'll see how this battle plays out. The Empire Secessionists are causing me no end of trouble. But the Empire, led by the mighty Karl Franz, will see to it that we are victorious. Now, alright, I'll do my usual first thing here. So put melee to the front. Now I'm going to put all of my spearmen into one group. Let's group them up. And yeah, so my crossbowmen are already in their group as well. Oh, group disbanded. That's not good. So they're already in their group. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is get my crossbowmen to hide in the trees and the rest of my army to march up through the middle here. Let's go ahead and start battle. Speed this up a little bit and we will march that way. We've got no idea where the enemy are right now. So let's see how this plays out. I imagine they're coming from up there somewhere. Alright guys, run into the tree line, and as soon as we see them, we'll start peppering them with arrows from afar. Alright guys, run up quickly. Any sign of them? No sign of them yet, sir. There they are, I can see them now. Alright, let's get my archers in position, and let us see what the range is of my archers now. Looks like we can already start to shoot their swordsmen, so let's do that. And if they want to try and defend against it, then they're going to have to come through a slot. So we should be able to kick their butt from afar before they even get here. Let's take a look at the numbers here. 63, they don't seem to be losing any soldiers just yet. I think what I'm going to do is get my archers to focus on their archers. As soon as we outnumber them 2 to 1, we should be able to kill them easily. And then that will free up my crossbowmen to... Oh dear. Hang on, they're all coming over here towards my crossbowmen. No! That's going to tie up my crossbowmen. Yeah, look, they, were, they decided to, to uh, change their mind. Good, good. Alright, how's it going down here, guys? Got some spearmen in battle over here. Alright, we got our hero over here. He's kind of all alone. Dude, you better, like, come over here. He's not really a hero. He's like a semi-hero right now. There we go. Crossbowmen kicking their butt. Alright, while these lot are tied up in combat, I think I'll focus both my crossbowmen on theirs. Let's take a little look at the numbers. Oh, dear. Allied troop count is plummeting, and theirs isn't plummeting quite as fast. I think the best course of action will be to take out their archers first. Alright, while that's going on, I, I will move some up here and attack these spearmen from behind, I think. Might be a good course of action. Right, you lads. See how are we doing. Alright, alright, yeah, pick all these lot off. So we're kind of surrounded right now. And their stair crossbowmen are dwindling. Yeah, their numbers are dropping much faster than ours. Ah, we shall defend our town. Who will never kill Reinstein? Alright, let's get both of our crossbowmen to... Yeah, they're running away. So while they're running away, we'll focus our fire on their hero. And we'll run out of the way so we don't get caught in the crossfire. crossfire. Right, stand there, lads. Wow, that guy teleported, really? <laughs> the Empire Look, their hero is running over to our... Running over to our archers. Screw you! Screw you, Hans the Astute! Fight him! Damn it, this could... This might not go well. Alright, let's get our crossbowmen to focus on... <laughs> they changed their mind again. Let's focus on their crossbowmen back there. And the battle is not far from being over. Where's their... There he is. That's their hero. Alright. Wolfgang Lore, come and help out. Charge! Alright, I guess we can't. We better stay here and kill these. 
kind of got them surrounded. Let's step out of the fray a minute. Run over there. Shaken, damage sustained. All right. Go over there and then come back. How are these guys doing inside here? Chasing them away. Lovely jubbly. You can come and join this little fray down here then. How they're crossbowmen. They're coming back. No! <laughs> They've only got 82 troops left though. But this bloody guy is kicking my butt. Crossbowmen! Ah, crossbowmen! Let's run my let's run my archers out of the way. And then as he's chasing them, he can be shot at by that little uh, cohort. Oh no, they're dwindling! No! My warriors are fleeing! Damn it! They're freaking crossbowmen back here shooting us from afar. Oh, this is one close battle. Come on, guys. You can do this. Alright, just let them regroup a minute. They're very tired. We, sh we outnumbered their archers, so we should be able to pick off that group. You can see the numbers dwindling. Yeah! Oh, look, the battle's going back in their favor, though. 181 to 54. They're hiding down there. I can I can see you. Yes, these guys are back. Shoot! Charge into battle! Wolfgang Lur! Everyone's running away. You pussies. Oh no, this guy's shooting back. They're heroes attacking my archers. No! Regroup everyone! If we can just get rid of this little band of spearmen here. That's it. Chase them down. Move out of the way. Come on. All right. Regroup on me. Shoot hands the astute as he moves towards us. Go on, boys. Fire. 151 to 26. I've only got 26 troops left. We can't lose this, surely. That's a tough tough town to defend though with this many troops steady damage he's exhausted and taking fire hands the astute Let's zoom in through the trees oh he just pummeled us fire skirmish mode go on lads surround him and whack him over the head oh no their archers are coming back I got some archers here though fire at them as they run at us Battle in the trees. I can't see what's going on. What's the numbers looking like? They've still got 26 left. Oh, look, he's, he's absolutely shattered, that guy. Wavering. That's what I like to see. Come on, lads. Are you shooting at these or what? What are you doing? You lot are hiding. Charge. Go and take out their hero. It's, it's crossbowmen do such a lot of damage on this game. Like, if you can position them properly and make sure they don't get charged down or anything, then uh, they can really do some serious damage. Come on, boys. It's, um... They're running at you. Oh, no. He's coming. He's chasing us again. Let's lure them back towards my remaining melee troops. Screw you, big dude. Look at that. He's still steady, mate. That guy is an absolute brute. We should recruit him for our army. Come on, lads. Ah, the crossbowmen are coming back. I'm responding to the perils of war here as well as I can. Alright, you guys just focus on that Hans the Astute while we chase off their crossbowmen. Yeah, we should be able to kill them easily. That's it, I just saw one drop right in the middle of battle. <laughs> My crossbowmen are running away again. We're losing ground. No! How are we losing? How the hell are we lost? God almighty, that's ridiculous. Hans the Astute. We fought. How did we lose? We've got 92 troops left and he's got 46. And all my guys just pussied out. Damn you, Wolfgang Lure. There's no, there's no honor for you. You are no Karl Franz, that's for sure. What we'll have to do is send Karl Franz and his merry band of, well, thousand men over there to lay the smack down on Hans and uh, cure this ill once and for all valiant defeat so has he taken that town back then 
Let's see. What happens? Uh, game. Are you bugged out? Nope. Valley in defeat. There we go. Damn it, they've recaptured Helmgard. Your prestige grows, my lord. What? News of your conquest spread. How have we completed an objective? Is that a bug? Reward. Well, we got a big reward. Disaster! We have lost Helmgard to Hans the Astute of Empire Secessionist. The fickle winds of magic spill from the realm of chaos and flow across the world. The winds wax and wane in an incomprehensible fashion, at times blowing a gale while in other places becalmed. Now the arcane turrets, currents have changed once again. The stronger the winds are blowing in a region, the faster they will replenish in battles fought there, and vice versa. This affects how many spells can be cast over the course of a battle. Huh, interesting. Oh my god, we have a new objective. Occupy, loot, raise, or sack six different settlements. In my position, we've just lost one. The Empire. Right, well, there's only one course of action open to me, and that is to march my giant army back over to Helgar. Helmgart and try to reclaim it. Oh, Carl Francis got another school point. Now, what would you, as my beloved viewer, choose to give him? We can give him devastating charge, charge bonus plus six, a full plate of armor, increasing his armor by plus three, scarred veteran, so he gets an extra six percent hit points, or deadly blade, melee attack plus four. Hmm. Or we could go for any of these under the inspiring presence. I think I'm going to go for... Let's go for Deadly Blade. Why not? Take a risk and go on the offensive. Right, let's end that turn. Damn, I can't believe we lost the, the minor Battle of Helmgar. There were so few troops there, but uh, maybe I did something tactically wrong. You are no Lord I'm not of the sure Empire. about what's this. Vampire. To even dress as such is a grave insult. Oh, they're the vampires, are they? They have ended their non-aggression pact with you. Bring it on, vampires! Winds of magic change again. Isleheart is experiencing negative growth for free turns. How lovely. Right, come on, lads. Attack! Let's free Helmgard from the secessionists. Men, we must attack. Look at that. Balance of power is strongly in my favor. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to auto-resolve this one. Yeah, easily. We lost 130. They lost 648. 772 loot gained. And let's get back to occupying Helmgar. Oh, I think we'll stay there for a little bit just to bolster its defenses. What is this? Talisman gained. The Opal Amulet can grant its wearer a life-saving second chance, but suffers a hairline fracture in its previously perfect surface as a result. Ooh. That's pretty decent. 22% damage resistance. Duration 50 seconds. I don't, maybe I have to click something to use that. We have attained complete control of this province once more. Yay. All right, I'll tell you what then. Yes, Empire Secessionists have been completely obliterated. Yes, there is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsty gods. Brilliant. Let's go and set our commandment and host that Festag once more. Try and improve the mood of everybody. And looks like Helmgart is due for an upgrade to a village. And that is it for this turn. Thank the Lord we got all them back. So now we need to think about attacking six more settlements. But I definitely need to... I still need to do that blood... Uh, blood moon. Temple has been obliterated. I still need to do this... Blood Pine Woods battle. Hmm. Alright, how's my army doing then? I am Prince and Emperor. Two turns until they're fully replenished. Well, I think it would be wrong of me to make them fight while they're slightly under par. I think what I'm going to do though is hire some more shielded spearmen. Empire's blessings, yes. I'm leaving one space in the army so that I can, if I get allocated a hero or I can recruit one, then I can just put him inside that. All you survey are loyal to me, so I advise caution with your next words. Right. Okay, they've ended their non-aggression pact with me. Looks like everyone wants my head. Splendid, just what I needed. Uh, all out war across the whole nation. Ooh, upgrades. Aleheart. Ah, what does that do if we upgrade the harbor? 4,000? That's ridiculous. Ooh, unlocks technologies though. Income generated 400. Uh, or we could build a barracks. What does that do? Unlocks great swords, handgunners. 
And an Empire Captain. Hell yeah, we want that! Barracks! Nice, and then we can build some more stuff. What can we build? Fields? Clay pit? Or a weaving house? Now what I'm kind of curious is, the income generated that it says there, is that port per turn? Or is that literally like a one-off amount of money? I'm not sure. I'm going to go for... I'm going to hope that that's a monthly income and build the weaving house there. Uh, Isleheart can now be upgraded to a town, but we're running low on money. And Grunberg. Alright, yeah, we'll spend 1600 to upgrade that to a village because that will increase the amount of garrison troops there. But that's going to take three turns. Alright, no bother. By the comments. Yeah, let's start moving our troops over Onwards. towards the Blood Moon region. Okay, and we'll end the turn. Well, Carl France has got another skill point. Huh. Uh, what do you think we should go for now, then? I think I'm going to go for that full plate of armor now. Make him a bit more uh, tough in battle. Wow, we're rattling through the turns. Next turn is 18. Oh, diplomacy. diplomacy. What do you want I now? I remain unconvinced. See, look, I'm trustworthy, it says over here, my reliability rating. And they're reliable, too. This faction has declared war on you. Averland. No allies have come to help me. Screw you. I'm ready for war with anyone. Let's do this. Once I get that barracks built, they're going to be in serious trouble. All right. Come on, Carl France. We must win this battle. Over how? Now, is there any more upgrades I can do anywhere. Helmgart looks like it needs some. So what should we build? I think I'm going to go for this defense thing now, the guardhouse. Anyway, yeah, provides a bigger garrison. Let's try and shore up our towns and end the turn there. I wonder how well I'm doing compared to other YouTubers. What do you think? Probably worse. They've probably got more experience than me in Total War. But it doesn't matter. We're having fun, right? All right, lads, it is time you. for the Battle of Bloodpine Woods. Region Kemperbad, you are attacking the Empire? Hell no, I'm the Empire. Well, my squad is mostly at full health, so let's go ahead and fight this battle straight away. Now, I believe this is an ambush mission, so they don't actually know I'm coming. And you can see the yellow area on the map up there indicates that I'm going to be hiding in the tree line so as long as I position appropriately we should seriously damage these uh, these secessionists all right let's end that little cutscene and head over to where my troops are which is there we are all right so let's turn the camera around that's the people we're ambushing and here's me Okay, let us highlight everybody. Wow, my army's so big I can't highlight everybody. Put melee at the front, and let's start grouping our people. So, Karl Franz, you will lead the swordsmen and the halberdiers. That's one group. Spearmen, put them in another group. And yeah, and then my ranged troops. Group them. Ah, not deselected. Hey, where's my cavalry? Don't tell me I lost my cavalry in, in, in a battle. Yeah, shoot. Right, archers. I think I'm going to put my archers here. Like that, because then we can target their ranged troops. And everybody else can pretty much just run forward. I think. Like so. Ready, start battle. Right, range troops, engage! Aim for their mortar straight away. And, yeah, you guys charge forward there. Let's split them up so we got all of their groups focused. There we are, and you guys are doing nothing. Get down there. Oh my god, we've murdered their mortars. Look at that. They're already running away. My lord is under attack. Where? There he is. 
Right, so he's got abilities now. What's this? Opal amul amulet. Ah, but we don't want to use that yet. As long as we draw breath, then we'll die. Okay, let's move him. Move him to the back there. He seems to be getting squished. <laughs> Look at my, my spearmen are chasing them off. Good, good. And then we'll approach these guys from the rear. So we'll get one lot on them. One lot on that group. One lot there. And one lot there. And by crushing them in a sandwich formation, we should easily win. Alright, let's get my archers down here. Position them ready. Actually, their archers have turned back round. Finished them off. All right, let's zoom in and get some, get a view on the action here. Wow, they're absolutely getting obliterated. Told you I was improving tactically. Let's try and see what's happening. Hello, I'm peering through the trees at you. Hey, what are you lads doing? Just standing there. Attack. we doing number wise they're down to 700 yeah my range troops hey their mortars are coming back wonder if I can tell them to like hold the line and so every time they come back into range we kill them oh look at that they've got three left lol okay now go for their crossbowmen they're still quite strong 49 strength there hey what are you lot doing come over here <laughs> completely sandwiching them. Yeah, and then my range troops, once they've finished off them, then we'll just get them to fire into that morass. Actually, no, I'll, I'll reconfigure my group. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Alright, let's line up on the hill. There we go, chasing them lot away. And we'll fire arrows over the top. Actually, no. If I position my guys on this hill. Oh, they're coming back for more, is it? Swordsman, finish them off. Where's Carl France? Come here, mate. We need you over here to finish off these guys. Carl France is going to battle. Ah, they're losing. Oh, God. Hold on. Let's slow the game down. They're charging in with their pistoliers. Right, range troops. Fire! Actually, let's get this one, this one, and this one. You can out oh, fire at that huge amount of troops coming that way. Oh, hold on. You guys focus on their pistoliers. And then these guys meet them in battle. Spearman, over here. Reinforce this flank. Actually, let's use. Some crossbows on them. At your yes, sir. Actually, they're dangerously exposed. Yes, my lord. Retreat! Quickly. Retreat! We cannot let them gain the upper hand here. Alright, Spearman, you go and attack Hans van Ziegelflugen. And press one. Yeah, then we'll look at this lot ready for the slaughter. Turn and fire! The enemy lord is dead! Sweet! That's going to really damage their ability to swordsman. mount an effective attack. Retreat, swordsman! Alright, you guys come back and join us. Run! Run! They're coming for you! God, I'm pretty sure this is not a tactical masterclass, but... Um, I think we're winning. Somehow. Surely I should be getting punished for performing so badly. Well, it's working, whatever I'm doing. Spearman. Right, you spearmen, approach it. They're lord from behind. Crossbow men, get out of there. Our weapons are yours. Yeah, look, victory is nearly assured. They're down to 200 approximately. Tell you what, we'll get this lot to shoot at them. These guys are pretty much chasing them all from the battlefield. Hey, these guys are hiding in there. Assault! Come on, 
my spearmen are chasing after these. <laughs> they're, they're picking them apart as they run away. Arrows just raining down upon them. Victory is nearly assured. They're down to uh, nearly a hundred. Right, let's get these swordsmen to come in at the back of these spearmen. Swordsmen are excellent against spearmen. Right, you guys root over here and fire some arrows at Hans Van Zanger. Yeah, look, these are easily broken now. Okay. Hang on, where's where's our leader? There he is. He's he's slightly damaged again. There we go. Look, even this guy's shattered now. Yes, victory is mine. Not a bad performance, I think you'll agree. Sweet. End battle. No, let's not end battle. Let's chase this guy down. Charge. If we can finish him off, then he won't be on the um, world map anymore. All right, let's press one. Get everyone peppering him with arrows. I don't think we'll be able to kill him. He's too strong. Let's fast forward and see what happens. Oh, he's not going to die, though. I think he's going to make it out of the map. Yeah, all right. We'll let him run. Run with your tail between your legs, you little pussy. Ronstein's empire will conquer this, this world without... Without any setbacks. Well, there is a few setbacks, but overall, we're doing rather well. I think, yeah, I think we could safely say we routed them there. That was uh, very pleasing to see. But we're going to have to leave Emperor Karl Franz to heal up again. He's getting battered in battle. I need to somehow slow down and make sure he's in the battle, providing uh, assurances and, 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 you know helping everyone out, but not getting himself murdered every mission. Okay, some nice loot. Now, do we pardon the captives, giving us a boost to our coffers? Or do we execute them? You know I like executing them. That's it. Wipe them off the face of the earth. Ah, we got another follower gained, the hunter. Ambush chance, plus 10. Cool. Is that this guy? Heinz Haldenstrat. No, he's a he's a wizard. Ooh. There we go. So quest successful. We've now got the sword of striking, increasing our charge bonus and melee attack. And hero recruited at Rindorf. Yeah, we now have a battle wizard, Heinz Haldenstrat. Heinz, I like this. This is awesome. Excellent. So how do I get him to like join my army? Uh, there we go. Embed hero. This will help. So now if I click Watch. on that. Where's my hero gone? Maybe he'll come there next turn. Ah, Alright, cool. Well, that is the end of the episode, guys. I'm pretty pleased with my progress. Next episode looks like there's some, um, some things we need to take care of in the towns. And we do need to start thinking about conquering six other settlements. So I'll probably aim for Karaberg next. But uh, I'll assess the situation before I start the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please click that like button. Please comment. Send me your thoughts. And share the video with the world. Let Rhinesteinians spread throughout the universe. Take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.